Well, a vacancy committee has selected the Republican nominee to replace former Congressman Ken Buck in Colorado's 4th Congressional District. They chose Greg Lopez, a two-time gubernatorial candidate and former mayor of Parker. He'll appear on the ballot June 25th for the special election. As Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows us, Lopez is no stranger to controversy. You've said that you don't support abortions for um, rape, incest, or the life of the mother. Is that the case? It is. That's Greg Lopez, a former candidate for governor with a history of controversial views. He's now one step closer to representing over 700,000 Coloradans in Congress. Thursday night, a vacancy committee selected Lopez as the Republican Party's nominee for June's special election to fill the remaining term of former Congressman Ken Buck. When it comes to rape and incest, look, those are traumatic things. I'm not saying that, you know, we can't be compassionate when those types of things happen. When Lopez ran for governor, his views on issues like abortion were front and center on the campaign trail, along with troubles in his personal life including a domestic violence incident in 1993. We all have something in our lives that we made mistakes. You know, I was young. When we make mistakes, we learn from them. In 2020, the Justice Department sued Lopez, accusing him of violating federal law by improperly influencing former colleagues at the Small Business Administration where he worked. Lopez later settled the case. The 4th Congressional District is heavily Republican, so whoever the party nominates is the heavy favorite going into June's special election. But the Democrats say they don't plan to give up. Our motto is compete everywhere. You can't win if you don't compete. The chair of the Colorado Democratic Party calls Lopez a scandal-ridden politician. I think they've made a, a terrible choice for their nominee, and it seems like they're going to continue to make terrible choices for this district in the future. Democrats in the 4th Congressional District will choose their party's nominee next week. That person will face Lopez in the special election in June. Lopez says if he wins, he'll be a placeholder member of Congress and has no interest in serving a full term of his own. Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Lopez agreed to an interview with Denver 7 today, but his team canceled a short time later, saying he was too busy. The special election will be held the same day as the primary election for the same seat. The winners of the primaries will advance to November's general election.